Hello, everybody, and welcome to maybe one of the greatest videos on the internet ever since. Oh, uh, my God. I don't even know if there's been a, a video better than this. No, this is going to be the best one for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, this is two old YouTube men power wash <laughs> <laughs> various objects. Oh, it doesn't get it does not get better than this. It actually. doesn't. It's, it's really good. Yeah, so uh, it's uh, well. I guess I could. I should be like uh, introduce yourself. I feel like most people know who you are at this point. Probably, yeah. I'm the guy that that told the same story like four times across like my four um, separate appearances with uh, <laughs> with Krantor yeah. about the tank and the dragon and eating the 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 fish and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But it's I, been I might so tell long. it again today as well. Yeah, it's been long yeah. enough to where everybody's probably forgotten. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So that's the way to do it. Um, but I figured, you know, it's been a long time. Everybody started streaming on Twitch, you know. People have shifted away from the YouTube. Now they just throw their Twitch clips on the YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I was like, I think we had a good old-fashioned blast from the past, you know. Get together on YouTube, play a game, camaraderie. And oh, just uh, of course, and yeah. power washing. Man, this is the best game for camaraderie. Like we could, the teamwork is going to actually make the dream work so well. Like, oh, uh, yeah. the satisfaction that you get from fully power washing, whatever this game throws at you is great. You got all these different nozzles and stuff. Oh man! Yeah, if you press so... tab as well, you can see oh. what needs to be cleaned still as well. So like, you can hundred like see up in the top left, it says three percent cleaned. Oh yeah, I see. We got a hundred percent everything. Like it's the rule. Oh yeah, we have the hundred percent. Um, I didn't even know this game existed. What? But yeah, I mean, oh, uh, I don't know how I was missing out. When did you first play this game? Uh, I played this game like uh, maybe two years ago. Like it's been in early access for a while, but uh, I think it's actually fully releasing soon. Maybe in a couple of months. Oh, yeah. Wow. I did not yeah. know. I thought it was just like one of those recent ones. The problem is like so many games come out with simulator style stuff, yes. you know? They all just yeah, blend together. Um, this didn't have multiplayer when it first came out, but multiplayer was added kind of recently, I guess. So it's huh. a good move, I think, because it's actually just a pretty chill game to play with, like, you know, a yeah. friend or, you know, maybe even a family member. Yeah, family member. I could play this with my dad probably. Like, I, he doesn't play many games, but he'd like this one for sure. Oh, he definitely would. This is yeah. like I was saying earlier. This is like a prime middle-aged, <laughs> middle-aged homeowner game where you're just like, oh, man, God, I just yeah. power washed my deck, but like, I need more. I need more. Yeah, <laughs> I can't really justify the uh, water bill. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this instead. Yeah, and you can't afford the the nozzles because that's like a part of the supreme package, and you haven't gotten your rays at work yet. Exactly. Yeah, the, the box factory just doesn't pay what it used to, sort of thing. And yeah, and then when you actually go outside, your neighbor comes out and he's like, "What are you power washing there?" And you're like, uh, <laughs> it's a, "You know, it's like just a full episode of Wonder <laughs> Years, pretty much." <laughs> yeah, or uh, like Home Improvement. It's like looking oh. over the fence, like, oh, what are you power washing there, Tim? And he's like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, on the topic of that, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know if you're in the know about this or, mm -hmm. or, or what, but I took my kids to see Lightyear, you know, the new, um, oh yeah, Pixar movie. How come uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor isn't doing the voice of Buzz Lightyear? What? He's it's, not doing the voice. No, it was like some, some other guy. It sounded just that. like him, but it was, it was not him. Huh. I didn't know if maybe he was like canceled or something went down or or, or what the deal was. Maybe he just cost too much. Yeah, uh, maybe. He probably is like, yeah, hey, I bet you want to get a new Buzz Lightyear, but nobody's gonna like it if that's the case. Think, and then they just dug their heels and they were like, Buzz Lightyear is bigger than the man or or whatever, and then just said, screw you, Tim. Yeah, I think they did. We don't need you anyway. <laughs> Did you ever watch Home Improvement? Oh yeah, it was on. It was in like massive. It was kind of like Home Improvement. I remember when it was airing, and then uh, it it was it was uh, it had like the Seinfeld Friends treatment. It was just in like massive syndication, like on every channel. You could watch like 
Seinfeld, Friends, Home Improvement was another one mm-hmm. where, like, if you knew what channels to flip through, you could probably watch, you know, 12 solid hours of Home Improvement a day if you really wanted to. That's every true. single day. Yeah. yeah, I remember. That was, like, 90s sitcoms were just always on, especially Fridays. Friday yes. night. Yeah. I used to just fall asleep with them on. Like, you, like, you know, you put on, like, TBS or Fox or something, yeah. and they would just be, you know, showing old Seinfelds or whatever. Mm-hmm. Put them on and go to bed. Do you ever right. see the... There's, like, some hidden 90s gems, too. Like, uh, there's, like, some random weird sitcoms you'd you would find and be like, oh, that's, that's not too bad. Like, what was... Uh, it was, like, uh, Yes, Dear. You ever see Yes, Dear? I actually like that one. I don't know if I ever saw Yes, Dear. It doesn't, it doesn't ring any bells. That might have been early 2000s. That might have been the... Uh, I'd have to check. Uh, there I know, was, like... Uh, there was like Blossom. I remember watching Blossom a bit. That was like a like an early '90s one, I think. I don't remember. Family that Matters one. with the uh, was Family Matters. The oh one with yeah. Urkel? Yeah, that, that was, was Urkel. Urkel, right? Yeah, yeah, Family Matters was Urkel. Carl uh, Winslow and and all that. Yeah, there was. That used to be on a lot too. Yeah, I remember. Or I remember being a kid with Nick at night, and I remember they'd show. Uh, was it Three's Company? And then oh, they would yeah. show. Uh, what was that one with the the something life? The facts of life. The facts of life. Oh the my facts god. Of life. The I facts remember of life. The, the I remember the tune, but I do not remember the show at all. I actually don't either. I just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh there's like North American TV is really like that though, right? Like yeah. sometimes you just remember or like even commercials, you remember the jingle, but like you might not remember like the commercial or the show. Yeah. Did you ever see? The ship uh, was just on all the time, right? Did you ever see Charles in Charge? I never actually saw Charles in Charge, but I remember people referencing it a lot, like where I worked and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like they would always call like you know our boss Charles in Charge or whatever. But <laughs> it was like a, it was kind of like I guess like a, like a meme back then sort of thing before, you know. Yeah. Memes sort of thing. But so, I never actually saw the show. I didn't really see the show, and then, like, one of my friend's parents was watching it, and they were like, oh, Charles in Charge. And then I started watching it, and I was like, yo, I kind of like Charles in Charge. (laughs) You just got addicted? (laughs) Yeah. You went down the Charles in Charge rabbit hole? (laughs) Yeah. Like, dude, Charles being in charge is actually pretty good. Like, I like (laughs) (laughs) Do you ever watch Mr. Belvedere? No, I've heard of it, though. Yeah, that was another kind of obscure one, right? Like, Mm -hmm. it was a bit like, uh... I, I want to say it was it wasn't at all like the Golden Girls, but it was kind of like the Golden Girls era, you know? Like, yeah. Just Which like Golden had, Girls is like, pretty good too. Oh, Golden Girls was fantastic. Yeah. Like, uh, it, I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people look back and actually consider it to be like a great sitcom, even though like it was like a really like boomer sitcom as well. But oh, yeah. it was actually really well written, surprisingly, for like you know, a movie about four old ladies that live together. <laughs> Yeah, no, which, really like, just... I don't know how often that would happen. Like, how often would four old ladies just decide to live together? Well, it's like, it's, a, I guess it's just the situation, like, dictate it, right? Like, I'd like, you, but I'd, some of them would have to be related. Yeah. And, the, and, the, or be like really, really like long term friends. And then, like, maybe a, a husband would have had to pass away or, or something, right? Like, yeah. the, the circumstance would be crazy, but I don't think it happens that often. Yeah, which, you know, I mean, it's it's TV. They're going to make their wild, wacky circumstances. Yeah, that's but, right. Uh, I think, uh, also, we're at, like, 1%. I can't find what is dirty. I know. It says to do, oh! okay, bumper's done. Yeah. So it's just window. There's one window that's oh, not Ah, oh, I found it. Ah, oh, nice. There Let's go. go. You like that? I like that. that we we made quick work of that van. Look at how shiny it is now. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So, oh, yeah, it's got a little, like, replay. Yes. Are you watching it? Yeah, I'm watching it. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? That is that is actually very rewarding to watch. Oh, look at that. I think that's, I think this, the, 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 the side that you're watching is me. Mm-hmm. And, and my, uh, uh, my excellent technique as well. No, that technique was fantastic. That was like how much? How hard. much money do you have in this game now? How much? Um, how much total money do you have? One hundred and fifty dollars. <sighs> That's nothing. I got five thousand eighty-five dollars. Oh my god! I've cleaned a lot of cars. You can buy a mansion. 
<laughs> we're going to uh, uh, we're going to the back garden now. Oh man, this one's a nightmare, by the way. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah, geez. It turns out that their backyard is a real goddamn pigsty. Look at it. Oh my god, this is like the this is the current millennial situation. Like you gotta buy a house that's like this if you want to be well, able look to look at it. look at all the grime on their fence. Like, uh, how do you get a fence this grimy? Yeah, what were they doing here? I don't know. <laughs> look, the this little shed looks like it. It's like the the rest of the the garden's looking great, but then. Parts of it just look like it's straight out of like the Fallout universe, you know, like yeah. What the hell happened to this? It's got a star on it too. It's like a communist shed, but it's like <laughs> completely covered in grime. Look at this little thing. It looks like it, you know, like it, a lot of this stuff looks like it withstood a nuclear blast. <laughs> it might got, have. This is all from like the Cold War. Crap. Yeah, it's a hundred percent from the Cold War. Um, I also this thought I saw a cat, house. like in a tree. Uh, what? moving yeah there's something in a tree out there and i'm trying to see if it was if there's any switch, other ones i don't see if it if you switch to like the red nozzle that's yep. like a laser oh okay there so you, you can, you can power get... wash a tree if you want oh right, you could power wash a cat with that <laughs> <laughs> why oh, not yeah. eh? oh yeah if uh, you press control twice you can like lay down too to get those hard to reach oh yeah there you go this reminds me i was watching uh QVC. <laughs> yeah. They just try to sell you random shit. Yeah. But here's the thing. Sometimes I just like it on his background noise. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, because like we first we found out about QVC because my, my wife's mom, my mother-in-law, was watching QVC. And we were like, you watch QVC? And she's like, oh, yeah, I buy shit on this all the time. And then I was like, I kind of just like how positive they are. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to get yeah, that Yeah, I like how positive positivity. they are, but it's kind of nuts, though, because, like, it, it, you know, like, they're like, oh, yeah, this really rare sapphire ring. Like, is that rare? <laughs> like, you're selling it on TV. Come on. I mean, yeah. like, how rare can it be? But people people fall for it all the time. Like, oh, yeah. It's usually old people. Yeah. Um, I think because they also grow up watching TV, so it's like they trust TV more than younger people. Oh, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I just, like, I like, I get, like, watching, like, shopping channels and stuff when you're, you know, tired or, it, yeah. like, just have it on in the background or whatever. It can yeah. be kind of entertaining. But, man, like, have you ever bought anything? We've bought, I think, three things. Come we on. Bought, what, okay, what did you okay, buy? Okay, we bought a, a thing of hand sanitizer, which, to be fair, pretty good okay. hand sanitizer. Right. Okay, I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's not too bad. Um, then we bought a, a porcelain small cat figurine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like, a, like, sort of like a collector's thing, like. Yeah, and then I think, uh, there was something else I can't think of. Like, I'm, I'm not buying, like, a laptop from QVC no. or something, you know what I mean? No. Or jewelry. Yeah, or jewelry. jewelry. No, yeah. definitely not. But yeah, I think I love seeing the hosts because you know they don't want to do what they're doing or they don't want to sell something. <laughs> <laughs> so they just, just like... seem very. It's like that really, really, really unique type of misery. <laughs> when you yeah. This, when they get going. Like they got to oh, wear man. some clothing they hate. They're like, this would look good if you're just like out on the town with your family walking around and the people are going to look at you and be like, where'd they get that? Where? What? What's that piece? You know, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you I gotta think explain the whole process of how you acquired it. On, uh, <laughs> yeah. On you ever have? Um, did you ever used to watch The Apprentice? Yeah, I've the, seen the, uh, the Apprentice. I've seen some I've, of The Apprentice. I don't know if the uh, the American version had it, but it, in the in the UK version of The Apprentice, because I still watch it like every year. I don't right. know why. Like I I I kind of hate watch it. <laughs> All right. The format is so old now, you oh, know, yeah. like the, all the people that enter it are super aware of like the things that they need to do and how they need right. to come across the and template. stuff. Yeah, there is like a, totally a, like a template for it. And I watch it a lot. But um, recently, it's not always been the case, but recently they uh, they have a task that uh, they have to run the shopping channel for like a day or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and they so they have to coordinate between each other to like you know pick items that they think are going to sell really well and then they have to like prove that they're good at doing sales pitches live you know in a pressurized oh, yeah. environment on tv or whatever 
and every time it's a disaster. Like oh, they're yeah. just so bad. <laughs> like they, but they're constantly talking like they're the the greatest salesman, salesperson ever or whatever. But like, you know, when it comes to it, it turns think, out it's uh, actually kind of hard to sell stuff on TV. I think that also ties into like YouTube and Twitch. Like people be like, "Oh, I want to do that." Especially nowadays, there's like kids that are like, "I want to grow up and do that." And everyone's like, "Oh, oh. you just." You just go on there, you talk about whatever, right? But I feel like it's an art form. Like, it's a learned yeah. art form. I think everybody well, can learn it, but it's not as easy as you think it is. It's not, no. I mean, tell me, I my, my son's 10 years old now, mm -hmm. and uh, all of his friends at school want to be like a you. They, they watch YouTubers, they watch people on Twitch, that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And they know that I do it. So if I ever help out with the school or whatever... I got like four or five kids just following me around the whole time, <laughs> asking me like, "So, what kind of microphone do you use? Uh, what what sort of headphones would you would you recommend?" And you're just like, "Oh, come on!" You know? I always just thought kid, of that just, because, yeah. like, obviously, we started doing this. Like, I mean, I've been doing it 13 years. So I imagine you've been doing it about as long. Yeah, it's been about 10 years or something like that. It's yeah. been a while. So I was wondering, like, we're going to, like, obviously keep growing up, and then, you know, you have kids and all that, and I was like, what are, what's it going to be like at the parent-teacher things? You know when you grow up, they'd be like, this is yeah. Jimmy's dad, he's a carpenter, and he's like, I work on wood. But now it's like, <laughs> oh, here's, a, here's his dad, he's a YouTuber. I was like, oh, oh well, I, yeah, Other parents, like, some, some parents are, like, all right with it they're kind of like like i know i know some of them so, some some of the kids parents are like into gaming and stuff mm -hmm. so they they get it and they know or and some some of them even like watch and stuff and it's right. fine and then some parents just they don't they don't do any gaming whatsoever they know nothing about twitch or youtube or whatever except for like the fact that their kids watch probably mm -hmm. too much of it and uh you try to explain what you do and they're just like that, that you could just see in their facial expression they just fucking shut down like <laughs> oh yeah they do not get it <laughs> it's pretty funny yeah uh, it's i've had that too where like older people i gotta explain they're just like yeah my kids love that shit but like i don't know what's going on i'm like i just you know you <laughs> you play the games and the you know and they're like oh like uh, fifa or clash of clans i'm like yeah Kinda. Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> so, oh. so, those ones, kind of, yes. Yeah. Like the, uh, this one dude, he's like, yeah, my my daughter's boyfriend, they're like, I guess she's like, I don't know, 14, or he's like 14, he's like, he wants to really do YouTube and Twitch, and I'm like, yeah, I know this guy, and he does it, and then, uh, just, uh, what, what do you recommend? And I'm like, I'd recommend not doing it. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> like, uh, anybody who asks, I'm just like, uh, I mean, it's... It's fine if it works or whatever, but like I wouldn't like quit your job and like wait yeah. for it to to work or pay off. Like it's, I feel like so much of it is like a lot of stuff in life. I guess it's just it's just luck or being in the right place, the right time or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. uh, it, there's no like guarantee. And oh, man, I, I I'm I'm grateful and I I like doing it, but like I'm so lucky as well. <laughs> it's yeah, just no. crazy. Like, I feel I that. I wouldn't. Uh, I, w I wouldn't really recommend it to anybody else because it is. It is surprisingly more difficult than it seems. As yeah, well. it's like anything where it has its its downsides. It has you know some rough days. Sometimes you don't feel good and you gotta hop on the old thing. Be like, what's up, gamers? Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. You gotta switch on the razzle dazzle, and sometimes you don't. You don't feel like it. You know? Yeah. Like, but you know, I mean, you can you can say the same thing. Like, I don't want to go work and stock shelves for eight hours but <laughs> you gotta do it it's like i'd much rather do that than various other right, what if you're like uh what if you work at like a morgue or whatever like you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because you would just <laughs> feel like shit all the time right you'd be like, yeah oh, that's true I, I really feel like shit today but like you couldn't <laughs> tell if it was because of your job or or not right because yeah. you're just so used to probably feeling like shit seeing dead people like all the time yeah. <laughs> although actually i had a my friend's wife was like a she like goes and picks up bodies they'll like call oh. her like oh we got one and she loves it yeah she's really? like i've been in fat she like has been infatuated with deaths since she was a kid like she she's right. like yeah it's great so i'm i think but some like, people not are in, just made for it not like in a weird serial killer way no just, <laughs> just actually kind of like a, like a morbid curiosity or yeah something. exactly so sure. i could not do that no but, me neither i yeah. would uh would feel like shit all the time if i had oh to. yeah 
glad to do that. I guess like part of you gets desensitized to it as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think one of the hardest parts, because I'll, uh, sometimes I'll just click on random videos or streams and try to see what people are doing, you know what I mean? Because people like, I want to do this, and they buy the gear, they buy everything, and I'm like, alright, let's, oh, see, let's yeah. see what they got. And it's just like, the, like, for example, be like, alright, here we go, power wash. Hey, guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm washing, I'm just... Uh, I'm washing. Back and forth, yeah, back and forth, yep. left, right, uh, left, right. Yeah. Yeah. But smash that like button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's like a, it, it's, it's kind of like emulating, right? You right. see a lot of people, they, you can tell they watch a lot of streams. Yeah. And, uh, and they, and they try to like, like emulate what they see, right? Yeah. Which is only natural. Like, yeah. Like, I guess, I guess most people would do that, but. Yeah, it's it's an entirely different beast when you do that, and you kind of keep doing it, and then you get criticized by people being like, "This guy sounds like an idiot." <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah you have to have a thick skin too, because there are a lot of people out there that want to criticize too, right? Oh yeah, they're ready. They get the drop of a hat. They're ready to go. Uh, but they, I think tying back into the QVC thing, I think they kind of felt like the first live streamers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because when they're selling. There's this one guy in QVC, his name Rick. I swear to God, I think Rick's on cocaine. But he'll, like, if he's trying to sell this car, right, like this little shitty, like, car, he's just like, look what we got for you today. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You're outside with your family. You're work, work, looking around, and you're like, I wish my kid had a car. You know, you, you think, <laughs> uh, and I bet your kid wishes he had a car. And guess what? He can, right now, for six easy payments of forty nine ninety nine. you're going to get this baby primed and ready to go. And then, like, someone calls in, and he's like, we got a caller. And they're like, I'm calling from Alabama, and my <laughs> son, he likes car. And he's just like, wow, yep, wow. Oh, of course, yeah, wow. Yeah, how many How many of these you buying? One, two, ten, twenty? Like, uh, buy the whole family a car. Like, wow, everybody's driving around. I feel like hamming it up like that is is such a thing too, right? Like yeah. you, you you see it in sports, but I notice it especially in uh, esports, right? Because oh, it's yeah. not it's not like it's professional, sure, but right. it's not it's not as like uh, time tested as traditional sports, right? Yeah, where you've had generations of people with you know careers in commentating or whatever and mm. uh there's like a certain cadence that people seem to like default adopt if they're casting or doing commentary on yeah. on esports and it is really over the top hammed up i find and it, and and kind of kind of hard to like watch and listen to yeah. sometimes as well <laughs> it's too much you just think like i don't know maybe i've just lived in uh in the uk too long or whatever because like a lot of the commentary on sports over here is like really low key you know it just sounds right. like you're listening to like your dad do it and he's not overly excited you know except for when like there's <laughs> yeah. a goal or whatever but i i watch like certain esports and it's just like they are just uh, like 110 percent all the time and i just always think Man, these people must just collapse when the when the broadcast. Oh yeah, is done. they got they it. Could... It's just like Garen's moving to the top lane, but oh, over down to the bottom lane, we got Callista. Callista's moving over, and she's gonna go to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you, there's a there seems to be a lot of like, I guess they probably practice it, but you know, like when there's a, uh, especially in like a mob like a moba like Dota or League or whatever, right. you know, you have a big team fight and there's a lot going on. And it's just like they turn into that Micro Machines guy all of a sudden. <laughs> like they're talking so fast you can't even hear a goddamn thing they're saying. <laughs> right. like, the excitement levels are just like so high and everything. It's it's pretty funny, but at the it same time. It just turns into like white noise. Just like beep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, 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 it's funny. I've definitely noticed it. Like uh, I watch like enough sort of esports. but Right. Um, what esports do you watch? Well, I watch Dota when the international is on. Oh, I don't yeah. really watch like the, the sort of you know the 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 regular season stuff, but right. I li I love watching the international. Like it always just gets me back into Dota for like you know a couple of weeks. Yeah. Of the year, um, I watched. I, I used to watch a bit of StarCraft too. Like oh StarCraft yeah, too. I like oh, StarCraft too. Yeah. I used to watch a lot of Hearthstone. I used to play a lot of Hearthstone. As oh well, yeah, but... hashtag same, dude. 
Or I have not played much Hearthstone recently. Yeah. I just, I can't really get into esports, but I'm like a super, like, normal sports person. Like, yeah. just your standard sports of, like, baseball. Yeah, basketball, you watch a football. lot of, uh, like, the big American sort of. Yeah. Um, Cause yeah, do you watch a lot of hockey? I know you watch like football and uh, and basketball. You watch a, yeah. a bunch of you, right? I watch. Do you uh, watch like hockey and baseball too? Or? Yeah, I watch baseball. I've watched a decent amount of hockey. Like I, I watched a lot back in the 2010 to 20 like 18 when the Blackhawks were really good and they were winning Stanley okay. Cups. So I was like, woo! But now they're kind of ass. So I'll just like I'll watch playoff hockey and stuff, or I'll watch a game here and there. I know how it plays. Right, yeah, and do you always that. support Chicago, like, no matter what? I support all the Chicago teams except the Bears, because I'm a Packers fan. The uh, Bears. So, the yeah. Bears, yeah, but it, that's partially because of my dad brainwashing me to, like, the Packers, because we'd always go to Wisconsin, and he'd be like, yeah, Bears are dumb, and I'd be like, yeah, and then I just grew up like that, which, thank God, because then I've actually seen my team, like, win. The Packers <laughs> are Green Bay, right? Green yeah, Bay they're Packers? Green Bay. All right, and yep. they're still Green Bay. I yeah. had a conversation about this with uh, people who are not from North America about oh. teams changing names, like franchises oh, yeah. moving and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the Minnesota North Stars moving to Dallas, for example. Yeah, was like was the example one of the examples yeah, or like the uh, the Lakers. The Lakers used to be the Minnesota Lakers or something. Because that's a lot right, of like way way back. Yeah, yeah. before they went moved to LA. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch? Uh, have you seen that show on HBO, Winning Time? The Lakers, um, it's got John C. Riley in it and uh, Sally Field and a bunch of, no, bunch of people. No, I have not. I heard it was it, okay. Yeah, it was all right actually. It's huh. like kind of. It was. Uh, I mean, there's there was enough focus like on the the team at the time with like uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar oh, and yeah. like um, Magic, Magic Johnson, Johnson yeah. and and all those guys. Mm -hmm. But then a lot of behind the scenes stuff too, like the uh, the owner of the franchise which oh, I, yeah. I think his daughter still is it runs bus? It. is her name yes bus? Yeah, yeah yeah Gary jerry jerry bus right dr yeah. jerry bus yeah i think so yeah so i watched played by um, uh, or wait that was that came out after the last dance right because i watched the last dance last dance is really good i've watched yeah. it through twice because um i watched it a couple of years ago on my own, and then uh, my wife, after we watched Winning Time, she was like, I, I told her about The Last Dance, she's like, oh, that sounds really interesting. She doesn't really know much about yeah. basketball or whatever, but mm -hmm. she, 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 like, the, the, the whole story of Michael Jordan is interesting enough oh, on its yeah. own. Like, you don't really have to appreciate the sport much to see, like, that the guy was just so driven and just really quite quite good at the, at the game. He's still probably considered <laughs> yeah. one of the best, right? Like, it's he, just insane. Yeah, like, easily yeah. one of the best. I mean, yeah. he won every championship he played in. Like, he never lost. Yeah. It's so, insane, eh? I, uh, because I, I was, grew up here, and I remember, um, I was watching TV. I was, like, nine at the time when the Bulls won in 98. I was, like, nine or ten. And I remember seeing them win the final one, and I was like, dude, basketball seems so cool. I'm gonna start watching the Bulls now. And then, I started watching, and they were the worst team in the NBA. Oh no! Yeah. But like, are they? How? How? Like, is that now? Are you saying they're like the? They're well, that the was when I was ten, but because Michael right, Jordan okay. left, and everybody left, so they were just terrible. Then yeah. they had the Derrick Rose era, so there's the resurgence. But then he was made of like glass, so right. he kept getting injured, and then that ended. And now they're they're kind of in a new era where like they're not gonna win a championship, but like they're at least fun to watch again. Right, so and uh, who who like owns the franchise now? Are, are like all the old, like uh, the it's Krasners still, and all them gone, or are they it's still, still Reinsdorf? Gone? Jerry right. Reinsdorf still owns it, uh, and he just replaced all the management. It used to be John Paxson and Gar Foreman, and now they got replaced by uh, competent people. <laughs> so pa nice. pa Paxson was uh, used to play for the Bulls. Right? Yeah, like, he used back. to play for him, but yeah, I don't think he's a very good owner, or well, right. general manager, I guess. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's, it is it is interesting for sure. Like I, I used to watch a fair bit of basketball when I was young. I remember the Bulls being, you know, pretty. Yeah pretty insane and uh i also remember uh i don't know if you remember this but uh do you remember like the starter jackets like the bull oh, starter yeah. jackets and the and the hats and stuff those yeah, used to be so big like everybody loved them and people oh, used yeah. to get rolled for them all the time as well like 
uh, at our local arcade. Like mm. if you wore your your Chicago Bulls jacket, bigger kids would beat you up and steal it from you. <laughs> it was like it used to be like a big thing. Everybody used to be too scared to wear their their Bulls <laughs> merchandise because they thought they were gonna get beaten it beaten up and pulled for it. So, that was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember the Jordan shoes being big too. Cause like I got a yeah. pair of those. Yeah, those, those were those were really big too. But yeah, we uh we watched the last dance, and then my wife got really into basketball, and then we went to a Bulls game, and they lost, but they played the Grizzlies, and that was her second favorite team, and that was my second favorite team. So they got is John that Morant. Vancouver? They used to be, yeah. Now they're Memphis. Memphis, come yep, on. They moved and what about the Raptors? Are they still in Toronto? Yeah, they're still in Toronto. Oh, okay. I actually was a big Raptors fan in the. Uh, like early 2000s back really? when they had Vince Carter because he was my favorite player Vince Carter god oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time yeah Vince Carter I was like 12 years old I was like whoa Vince Carter <laughs> <laughs> in like a very high Crandor voice <laughs> oh yeah well I love Vince Carter <laughs> I love Vince Carter which by the way Vince Carter played till like two years ago he was like 42 when he was still playing Holy, that's pretty old for uh, yeah. for professional sports, right? Like it is. Like it's usually actually like, really old. Usually, like early to mid thirties, like injuries usually just catch up, right? Like yeah, they usually do themselves as. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like, it's the same with like soccer or like football over here. Like like a lot of like the like the big names. Like I think Beckham played a little bit longer. But like uh, in the, like not in the Premier League, you know. Right. Like most of his, you know, if he played like in his late thirties, forties, I think he probably just went like stateside to coach a team. Or, oh yeah. You know, play for some team or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're usually done like in their mid thirties. Just yeah. too much for their bodies, I think. Uh, like yeah. all their cartilage is all. It's usually like their knees and shit are all fucked up. They can't. They oh just yeah. Can't do it anymore. As somebody who's like 33, about to be 33, I feel that. I feel it creeping in, you know? Come on, 33. It's not well, here's, the, here's the thing, all right? It's it's not like terrible yet. Like, you can still do stuff, but you start to feel it, right? You get like a taste of what's to come. You're just like, ah, I, I, can't, I can't eat what I used to anymore. Oh, I, that kind of hurts my knee, but you're, you're still able to do it, but you just you yeah. feel it. <laughs> you start to feel it a little bit more, yeah. yeah. You feel less invincible, for sure, like yeah. in your 30s than you did say in your 20s when you could just do anything and nothing really <laughs> yeah. faced you or bothered you yeah oh well just wait till you get to your 40s it's like a totally different <laughs> ball game it's uh you just you feel like a geriatric all of a sudden. <laughs> like uh, your body really just starts betraying you big time i mean that's just uh that's like twitch and youtube right you yeah. just you hit your 40s as well and you can't sit in that chair right? no you gotta I, yeah I, you gotta you gotta get up and stretch a lot more than you used to and oh it's it's crazy yeah, like, I go to the gym five days a week now. Because, really? Uh, yeah. And I could Jesus. beat up my old self easily. You must be, like, really ripped. Five days um, a week? Yeah. Well, I'm not, like, jacked. I'm definitely toned now. Like, I have muscle definition. But I nice. said I used to be a toothpick, and now I'm a muscular toothpick. Nice. So, it's, so I, do you actually do, like, weight training and stuff? Yeah, I do upper body, lower body. I do leg day. I don't skip it. Holy uh, crap. You know, I do cardio. I mean, honest people are like, oh, did you start going because you just wanted to get jacked? And I'm like, no, I, want, I started going because I was falling apart. I had my gallbladder out. I had to get my toenails, like, removed, and they grew back, but... Removed? Yeah, my two big ones got inflamed and infected. Come on, man, that's gross. Yeah, it, oh, you're telling me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, after that happened, like, I had stomach issues, and I was, get, I was getting heartburn. I was like, dude, I gotta, like... I had to do something. My blood pressure was starting to go up a bit. So yeah, did I just they put started you out. on? Uh, did they put you on uh, omeprazole for like? Oh yeah. Uh, ahead of your your gallbladder coming out and stuff. Not ahead of it, but I was. I've been on and off omeprazole over the over. Whenever I get a flare up of heartburn, I just pop pop back the old omeprazole. They're like, yeah, you can go on it like a couple weeks and then get off. Yeah, yeah. Like nothing gives you heartburn when you're on that stuff. It's crazy. Oh yeah. No, it just it's, completely masks it. Yeah, but you don't want to. You don't want to be on it too long. No, no. Yeah. Oh but, man. Uh, I said uh, on my stream, I'm like practically a, a gastro specialist, like an uncertified gastro specialist at this point. Jeez, you should like uh, write a book or something, you know? 
I could. I've had two endoscopies. Take that, Oops. other content creators. I bet they haven't oh, had as crap. many endoscopies as I have. No, that's that's you're probably right about that. How <laughs> um when you had your gallbladder out, mm -hmm. did you have keyhole surgery? Yeah, I had the the in, less invasive one. Yeah. It's not bad, eh? Like uh Yeah. You you can pretty much just get back to normal pretty much immediately, right? Yeah, like the the first couple of days the gas was the worst part. I just felt super bloated from the gas yeah. they pump you up with and then I uh I had to have a catheter cuz I couldn't pee right away. So yeah. that was the other worst part, but like aside from that it was just like laughing hurt. So I like, didn't want to laugh. But yeah, I remember my when I had mine out. I had mine out when I was 28, I think. Mm -hmm. It was like a like a, I think it just was a genetic thing cuz I I think a bunch mm -hmm. of people in my family had also had theirs removed. Yeah, that's what mine was too. Similar age. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the surgeon, like after, like, at, you know, after the surgery was done, he came up and he's like, "Oh, hey, you know, everything went really well. You're really good. Here is a vial with like the crystals that we found inside your gallbladder, which has now been destroyed and is not in your body anymore." I was like, "Okay, great. Thank you very much. These crystals are really gross as well, <laughs> but thanks for showing me them." <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "All right, well, uh, you need to uh, not be sitting down because I was sitting down at the time." He's like, right. "Go for a little walk, start walking around, loosen up, and stuff like that." Uh, because if you don't pee in the next uh, half an hour, I'm putting a catheter in. And he said, <laughs> uh, "You do not want a catheter." <laughs> oh I was yeah. Like, well, okay. So I just started walking around. <laughs> um, yeah, but luckily I did not have to have a catheter. So. Oh yeah, it's you don't want one. Yeah, I'm gonna. I will I, tell you that much. It was my uh, it was a bad my time. surgeon was 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 a pretty funny guy actually. It was like putting some markings like on my chest, like just before the surgery. Like he right. came up to sort of like brief me as to what was going on. Yeah. So he made some marks like on my chest. He's like, yeah, we're just gonna cut here. We're gonna cut here. And then he drew like circles around my boobs, and he's like. Don't worry, we're not going to touch this part of you at all. Like he's <laughs> like, you're not going to wake up with any changes here. And I was like, okay, great, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I feel like uh, if you do that job for long enough, you 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 kind of do get like a sense of humor around it, right? Or, like, I think so. You feel like you know you can just sort of like joke around about it with people. Like I was not offended at all. I just thought it was pretty funny. But yeah, I, I think. I think it depends. Like, my surgeon was an old Eastern European man. Right. So he was just like, it was gallbladder. You'll get the gallbladder out. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes that's good too, though, right? I did. He did well. So, I mean, yeah. everybody was like, oh, he's really good. He, like, doesn't, he's a workaholic. I was like, all right. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. He did all right. He also gave me a bunch of pain meds. Nice. Uh, which. I, you know, I didn't take a lot of them because I didn't want to get addicted to them. <laughs> no, like, of course right. not. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's always a bit of a risk, right? Yeah. Um, but you Yo, know. did you do the did you do the shed? Uh, yeah, I did the shed. All right, you gotta come over here and press tab. Like, come on. What's going ah, on? Ah, jeez. Yeah, there's <laughs> just like there's skid marks all over. <laughs> ah, gee, I think I used the wrong <laughs> nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, Oh, that was the entire point of me bringing up QVC and all this stuff leading to where we are, was they were selling power washers. Oh. So, I remember like some Like, really guy, good ones, or those, like, little baby ones? I don't know, but I just remember they were selling it, and some guy's just out back, like, power wash. It's like, you power wash anything! You power wash your house, power wash your car, power wash your deck, power wash, you know, whatever. Uh, hey, you're not lying. You can kind of power wash anything. Yeah. You shouldn't power wash everything, though. Like, there's probably some limits to that, but... Yeah. I don't know. If you're looking to extract, like, maximum value from a purchase, <laughs> maybe you're more inclined to power wash things that should not be power washed. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can go crazy. You can. Yeah, you can <laughs> really go crazy with a power washer. I used to have like a just a mini one. I got like I got a small one because uh, there was like a bunch of grime on my garage, which is like separate to my house. Right. When we first moved in, and uh, there was like a whole bunch of snails stuck to the back of it and stuff too. So I thought, well, I don't know if there was actual live snails in there. I think it was just like old snails. Oh, their I shells see, were yeah. like all stuck to the wall. Mm -hmm. 
So I was like, well, I'm just going to have to power wash this, I think, and, like, tidy it up. Right. And uh, it was pretty satisfying. But honestly, uh, at the same time, like, it's not... I wouldn't want to do it all the time, you know? Yeah, I feel that. Have you ever... Uh, like, what's, like, your favorite household chore type of thing to do? Oh, none. Like, I hate all of them. Oh, really? I don't, yeah, I don't want it. Like, I'll, I'll sit here happily for eight hours a day um, <laughs> playing, like, a game about cleaning up. But in real life, God, I hate it. Like, I just I just don't want to do it. Uh, I actually don't mind doing that type of stuff. Like, I don't mind, like, cleaning or vacuuming or... Really? Uh, like, I, I installed a faucet, which is actually pretty oh. easy to do. Uh, partially because oh, you just look it up on YouTube and some guy's like, here's how you do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you can. Th there are some really good uh, YouTube videos on how to do pretty much anything, right? Yeah. You ever watch those, like, time-lapse videos of people restoring old houses and stuff? Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Or, like, a redoing, like, a bathroom or something like that? Yeah. Those are, those are pretty nice, actually. Yeah, those are great. I feel like that is such an old man thing to watch on. <laughs> oh, it is. Going. I'm sure my dad watches that kind of stuff, too, but... I don't know. At the same time, it's just so easy to go down a rabbit hole with that stuff. Yeah, that's how they get you on YouTube now. People make fun of yeah. the algorithm, like, "Oh, I don't understand it," but like, they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, my um, the my my recommendations are a mix now, cause like my my kids watch a lot of stuff oh, on yeah. YouTube. So like, in between videos of like how to clean your gutters or <laughs> you restoring <laughs> yeah. an old house, I've just got like. Uh, you know, um, wacky, wacky Fall Guys dude 69 <laughs> Fall Guys montage. And then uh, my daughter watches it as well. So it's like uh, Bluey and Minnie Mouse oh my God. Blue shorts. Dude. And I, <laughs> speaking of Bluey or whatever, is that his name, Bluey? Bluey. It's a girl, actually. Or wait, am I thinking of the right thing? Bluey? Yeah, like a little blue dog with a, there's like a little orange dog, the, the sister. Uh, oh wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. Bluey looks oh. like a wholesome thing. Yeah, Bluey is um, just like a little, a little dog. It's all like I know, all the rage now. All I know is there, I was at my friend's house playing Warhammer, right? So I, I'm a big Warhammer nerd now. Right. Uh, and so I meet up with like a couple friends every week or every other week and we play a big game of Warhammer, but he's got a wife nice. and kids. And right. so we go to like his like gaming area, but like his TV's there, so the, sometimes the kids will come down and start watching stuff, and they'll like start watching YouTube, and I'm just like, what the shit is some of, like some of this like kids YouTube programming? Oh, I know, like uh, you can find there's like videos where it's just like 25 hours of nursery rhymes. Okay, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I mean, or I can only <laughs> take maybe 18 hours of this. Like, yeah, there's no way I'm 19 times. Through. The full 25. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. They're, they they're watching, stuff um, like that. They're watching, like, these kids review, like, Matchbox cars. But, like, you know the kids were forced to do this by their parents? Where, like, yes. they're like, oh, welcome back. It's me, Jason, and here's Freddy, and we're, like, 11 years old, and we love Matchbox. And then they're just, like, talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you met any any uh, kids like that through like uh, going to like do brand deals or anything like that? Have you ever? I have not. Have you ever? Have I you ever think done any my, uh, demographics the same? No, I mean like <laughs> uh, I didn't think mine was either, but uh, there have been times where I've had to like do stuff with not like not videos or whatever, but I've been like at venues where you have like these you know kid kid sensations with like their parents and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah. It's, it's it's I mean it it's it's probably what you expect, but it mm -hmm. is kind of weird to put your kids forward like that into yeah. such a a public uh, setting or whatever. You know what right. I mean? Like, and then like, how do you grow up? Like, are they stars at school too, or something? Are they homeschooled? Like, I don't know. yeah, I don't know. Like, it's it must they must be. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I can't imagine that they go to school because I imagine most of the kids like watch that stuff, right? Like, you're yeah. not gonna go to cool with the guy that you watched unbox all that lego that you <laughs> wanted and didn't get sort of thing right like, yeah i think you'd just get beat up like every day pretty much you probably would or you just get asked questions about what you're doing next and like all these all this stuff i, yeah. I don't know i wouldn't i wouldn't want that i would just want to be a normal kid i feel like they're almost like disney star kids like they're just gonna grow up to be like you know uh, really weird and eccentric yeah, yeah yeah like they'll be like oh yeah it's uh it's that kid and he's like 22 and he's like just drugged out, 
<laughs> like, like, oh, they found them with like five hookers and just cocaine. <laughs> it's just like, yo, Lego bond box. <laughs> It's, uh, it's always the way, right? Like, yeah. it, it, he's like it, a rapper now. He's like unboxing Legos on a girl's ass or something. Yeah, like like excessive <laughs> tattoos like on every part of his body and yeah. stuff too. It's just, yeah, yeah. Also, hey, we're missing like the, the, yeah, last percent. <laughs> I think there's a, um, if you press, there's a way to see. Oh yeah, if you press escape, All you right. can see what's what's missing. So flower bed edgings, there's one. Okay. And the toy car seat is 83%. Mm. So the oh, toy car yeah, seat I see it. I see it. Will, will probably get us over. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, there you go. Oh. Look at that. To do now. Food shelf, barbecue patio trim, and the flower bed edging. Okay. Okay. Like right. flying. Is it like this? Yeah. Yeah. It could be this edging over here. Um, maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I found it. It's this oh, one here. okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, there we go. Flower bed edging is done. I also, patio um, trim. I also just love speaking of sports. Calling back to that, I love the announcers because you get so many different styles of announcers. Like I feel yeah. like with esports, it's like you said, a lot of it's the same. But if you go to like other sports, it feels like you've got the guy who's like, uh, what was that? Is Doc Emmerich in hockey? He used to be like off the pipe. Oh my god! Like you had that like, <laughs> like crazy voice. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you go to like football, and there's like Joe Buck and Troy Aikman. He's just like, I'm Joe Buck, and today we'll be watching football. Adams down the sideline, touchdown. And then Troy Aikman's like, Well, I'll tell you what, Joe, you know, back in the day we didn't we didn't play like that in '94. We uh, you know, we brought our own football and uh, threw it around <laughs> the yard. <laughs> like, oh, that's great. I was gonna say, I remember Troy Aikman, the name, but I couldn't yeah. tell you who he played for, or whatever. But I Dallas remember him Cowboys. being a Oh, he was Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, okay. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, he was a pretty he was a pretty big deal back in the day. Troy yeah. Aikman. He, uh, I think the concussions hit him a little too hard because he's had many moments where he's just like, they're lucky they made that field goal and they like didn't make it. I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> that's not. We good. watched uh, we watched that documentary about Aaron Hernandez. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and they were talking a lot about how how dangerous it is for young people to play football, but there's a lot of like work to almost try to like convince people that it's like safe and okay sort of thing you know like because mm. it's such bad press right to say like these people are getting brain injuries from playing <laughs> yeah. a sport that everybody loves or whatever <laughs> yeah um uh, it's interesting but i don't know do you think there's more awareness around it now like that it is quite dangerous and it can lead to like long-term health issues and stuff like that or do you think people are just like ah fuck it i just want to be a big football star and i think do. uh I think there is more awareness, but people don't care. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like, there's always going to be somebody that just wants to do it. I guess there's just so much money to be made. And it's a, yeah. it's such a dream for people, right? Yeah. Like, not, e not even just for, like, the young um, people playing it, but, like, their parents' aspirations and hopes are all tied into it as well a lot of the time and stuff. So it's probably a lot of pressure. Yeah. I guess, but it's interesting, eh? Yeah. I mean, it's... It's definitely, I mean, no matter what, there's always, it's like fighting or anything, like boxing or MMA, like, obviously it's dangerous, you could get hurt, you could die, but, like, there's still people, like, I just want to, I just want to fight, I just want to compete. I think it's that same type of mentality. Like, they yeah, don't care, yeah, they yeah. just want to go do it. Oh, um, while, while with me, you know, I, I would not do that. Uh, I just, I just wouldn't do it. Come on, you go to the gym five times a week. You could do anything. Well, yeah, I do that to lower that's my more, blood pressure. Five, five more, five more times a week than I go to the gym. That's that's, that's true. Sure. But I do it to lower my blood pressure, not like get in the ring. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> right? Do you actually have blood pressure problems? Well, yeah, my family's got high blood pressure, oh, so okay. it's just monitoring it and just making sure it doesn't go wacky. But like, I, you know, I've got friend like one of my friends. He was like fine, and then. He didn't sleep well, he didn't eat well, he drank a lot of beer, and he yeah. was stressed. And apparently his blood pressure was like 190 over 100. And they were like, uh, that's really bad. So he had to like stay overnight at a hospital and go on meds and stuff. Jeez. What, yeah. So what's the ideal? It's like 170 or something? It's like is that, it... 120 over 80 is usually the standard. 120 over 80. Yeah. Oh my god. So, so 190. 
How um, and is blood pressure like uh, leading up to causing a heart attack? Is that? Oh yeah, it can that, cause like, heart attacks, too- cardiac problems, like stroke. Like uh, over time, if you don't check on it and stuff, it can it can cause some damage. Holy crap! So yeah, it's so, that's why it's important. So you just try to keep yours like at at a level now, like uh, yeah. like an ideal level sort of thing, yeah, and like, like through exercise and just like what cleaner living. Yeah, just like it, not eating as much sodium, like processed foods that'll raise it, mm-hmm. uh, and then exercise helps. So like. Before I started exercising, it was like borderline. It was like one high one thirties over like maybe like eighty five, ninety. So they're like, ah, you're like getting up there, but like usually one forty over ninety. If it's there for a while, then it's like you gotta probably go on meds. But like I was kind of borderline, so like just change up your lifestyle. So I did, and then uh, it dropped it down. So nice. you know, when I get older, it might still you know happen where i have to go on meds but you know delay no it. but i mean it yeah i mean you, you probably don't have to worry so much because that the the hardest part about like any of that stuff is the change of lifestyle though but the longer you do it your lifestyle becomes that new lifestyle yeah so as you get older if you're exercising and eating better and stuff like that you've already sort of cracked it right like you yeah. don't have to you don't have to make a big overhaul later on in in life which i think is the, the big problem for people yeah, they're just used to living a certain way, and then all of a sudden they have to like just change everything uh, yeah. in order just to stay alive or whatever. And some people just can't do it, right? Like it's yeah. just too much to change all the food that you eat and change your exercise patterns and stop smoking and and everything. Mm-hmm. It's like it's too much. Yeah, I think a lot of it you need something to kind of push you there. Like for me, it was all my health things, and I was like, well, I got to do something now, right? But, like, yeah. aside from that, you're just kind of like, eh, whatever. But, like, something has to happen to really, you know, get you over the edge. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I Like, I'm not, I, I haven't had anything, like, uh, happen, but I'm 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 a lot older than you. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should exercise more yeah. and stuff. I should probably do some exercise. Now that I know that you go five times a week, I'm going to start going six times a week. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm uh... sure my dad can beat up your dad as well and, uh, you know, all that. It's fun because at the gym, I, I'm like a regular, so I know the other regulars. There's some dudes, I, they're like in their 50s, 60s. They're like jacked, like straight up. They're there. They're like, oh, you yeah. hit up uh, Eagle Creek golfing? They're like, yeah, hit up Eagle Creek. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how you, how you drive? Are you hitting the driver these days? Like, yeah, you know, open face club. Uh. <laughs> I just like listening to them. Yeah, no, that's uh, I like listening to all that too. And, like, I love how like when they have just this whole like new like code language for all of this stuff that, that like golf or whatever. It's hilarious. Yeah, or then and it's funny because they'll say all that and they're like, yeah, yeah, and then they run out of stuff to talk about and they're like, all right, and then they start working out again. <laughs> yeah, AirPod oh. back on. Oh man. Um, so what do you think of power washing sim then? I think it's a fantastic game. Yeah, uh, nice, right? Yeah, I think it's really good and. Uh, you know, we're, we're closing in on the hour, uh, so probably stop it here. But I mean, if you want to, if you want to play more power washing with me for okay. next time, we got, we got the bungalow, we got the playground, we got a dirt oh, bike. You don't even know. You don't even have half of them unlocked yet. Oh, you got man. a Ferris wheel down here. There's a helter skelter. <laughs> oh, there's boy. a big washroom. It looks like it's uh like a, like a subway washroom or something. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You don't even know. There's there's tons. There's uh, also a big penny farthing. If you know those, like uh, they look like tricycles with a really big front wheel. Oh yeah, those. Yeah, like big those wheels. old timey, the old timey bicycles. Yeah. yeah, there's one of those. Oh, all right. Well, hey, let's uh, let's do this again in the, yeah, the near sure. future. And for sure. uh, everybody, make sure you you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, smash it, uh, destroy yeah. it, power wash that bell. Oh, man. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll put a link to Sips as well below if you want to check Thanks. him out. Hey, no problem. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Power Wash. I don't even know what I'm going to call this. Power Wash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, pow- the, the Power Hour. <laughs> yeah, the, the could, Power Hour. You could call it the Power Hour. The Power Hour. <laughs> that actually is uh, that's good enough. It's the Power Hour. Uh, see ya. But...